The whole relationship between human beings and animals, there's nothing better what they have to teach us. It's phenomenal. I profoundly admire and respect what PETA stands for, whose commitment to the cause of animal rights is an inspiration to me and to everyone who believes in the sanctity of life. There's no excuse for animal abuse. Whenever push comes to shove, my money is on PETA. Researchers at Texas A&M are torturing dogs, and it has to stop now. Do the right thing. Free these dogs. Shut down this lab. Shut down the lab. Shut down the lab. What's your piece of advice for today's generation fighting for animal rights? I think people have to be implacable. I think they have to be confrontational. That's what has to be done. Forty orcas have died in captivity here. These wonderful animals that you've come to see, they're in pain. This is torture and it is criminal. Shame on you, Doug. Shame on you, cats. Mr. Cromwell, why did you go there today? What was your purpose? Purpose to bring attention to what is happening in that laboratory, which is egregious, cruel, and unnecessary. This is intolerable. And if you can allow this, you can allow that same sort of suffering not only to happen to other animals, but also what we do to each other, where we no longer have concern over anybody else's suffering. Where these tortures animals? Where these tortures animals? Confused? We're not. You just keep caring about saving the world, and we'll keep caring about our savings account. Please, never bet on horse racing. Let's stop the cycle of violence before it begins. What's one good piece of advice that you've been given? The best, I think, is wash the bowl. It means put your attention on what is right in front of you, no matter how mundane it is. Be here now. Seriously, what else do you need to hear? Go vegan. The world will be a better place for all of us. Thank you.